do. Happy July. It is July. Where did June go? Because I'm pretty sure I blinked and June was gone. Like friends were like, do you guys want to come down next weekend for 4th of July? And I was like, ooh, I don't know what I'm doing in three weeks. And my friend was like, that is next weekend. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Time is flying. So today we've got some really cool social media stuff for you. I'm going to tell you about the Canva discount that's going on. My BFF mic is on because we're going to talk all things websites when it comes to KW. And my song, Can't Get You Out of My Head, is there for a reason. So show, put in the in the chat actually, because there's a lot of you in here and I can't see where you are. If you're not wearing pants, please don't come off of camera. But I need to know, is everyone in your database right now, every human being, every name, every fake name you have, whatever's in there, are they all ready to transact? Is every human in your database right now ready to transact? I see one, are you sure? Everybody? Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. Are they ready to transact? How about a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're driving? Oops. No? Okay. Now why do we only talk about real estate if they're only ready to transact? Come on now, come on, right? Let's get to a point where how do we cast such a wide net that people want to be in relationship with us no matter where they are in the transaction life cycle? How many of you have been doing this for a while? Sandra, I see you on. I see Erica. I see some people have been in this business a while. Could you confidently say that many of the people you've transacted with have become friends? Yeah, especially Sandra. <laughs> they love her, right? <laughs> people become your family. They become friends. They, they're the ones who are invited to the family barbecues and, and become a part of your world. But yet the only people we're catering to and our world seems to be the people who are, we want to be an instant transaction with. So while you are looking at the social media that we are putting on, I would love for you to keep an open mind and think about the, that all the time. How am I casting a wide net so that I am speaking to the majority of my database, not just those who you're in transaction with or trying to get very close into transaction? Because guess what? You've already got them. Now you're marketing to the net. Now you're trying to scoop in all the other people and figure out where they are in the life cycle and in the process. So one of the things we're going to talk about today, and I can see that Jen's on, but she's going to be listening in. We're going to be talking about our websites and how this net is created with your website. I was going to give you social media images that had to do with your website. And then I thought, Brooke, it's a holiday week. Let's do it next week because I'm going to give you, there's time off this week. I know some of you are taking time off. There's going to be time for you to go in and build your website. If you have not flipped the switch so that the marketing pieces we're going to put out next week makes sense. I'm not going to give you marketing pieces that you can't use. So let's make sure today we, we deploy on the things and we take action. So today let's get right into our social media stuff. Unless Jen, you want to come off of mute and say anything. All right, no, 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 sharing, share just this. All right, can everybody see the KW New England calendar? Cool, thank you. July is here. So now in July, we are focusing on all the people it takes to help people get to the closing table. Who are some of the people in our world that help us, our clients get to the closing table? Name a few. Who are parties to the transaction? And home inspectors, attorneys. Lender. Yep. How often do we praise them on social media for the work that they're doing with us? Usually just at closing. How wonderful would it be, and especially with the new websites, to be able to talk about the people that make us, especially if you're a solo agent, how wonderful is it to be able to say it takes a team to get you to the closing table and here are the wonderful people that we work with all the time. And let's talk about what they do because if I'm a first time home buyer and I'm going into a transaction and you're saying things like, yep, my, my transaction coordinator. Oh, hold on. This is what we do because we're KW. My TC is going to call you. 
<laughs> my TC. Sandra, what is a TC? But I'm not going to say something because I think I'm a savvy first time home buyer. And then I'm going to get off the phone with you. I'm going to cry maybe a little bit. And then I'm going to Google what a TC is. And I might not have the right information. It sounds like a disease, actually. It does. It does. It can be. Many of the Kellerism acronyms we use could sound that way. So that's why it's so important that we educate the consumers. And, and we have to remove this. People know about this. They don't. They don't know what they don't know. Or they know what their parents told them. Or they know what they know from a transaction that happened 10 years ago. Transactions happening now are even different than six months ago. Things are constantly changing. It is up to us as the fiduciary to counsel and educate. And that's what this week's series is all about. So it's called It Takes a Team. Now I'm starting to give you Canva templates. So when you click on this week's, it's going to take you to a separate document because I'm also trying to make things that are evergreen for you, meaning no matter what time of year it is, you can use this when you want something or a series to add to your social media posts. These can be over a series of a week or a series of two weeks. Sorry, did you hear that? The dog just slammed her body into my office door. <laughs> uh, let me just admit people. All right. So we're gonna start with the transaction coordinator. You can click here for the image but I also have it at the very bottom of the document, the Canva template linked to all the images. You have five posts that talk about five different people on the team. So you've got transaction coordinator. So you would just copy and paste this part. We've got transaction coordinator. We have home inspectors. We have title and closing companies because some states don't require you to have an attorney. New Hampshire. Good morning. How are you? Real estate attorneys and the lenders. So while we know what these are and we think maybe our consumers know what these are, we truly know what they do. Here's my nerd hack that I love oh so much. And I will make sure you in here you have the articles on how to, but we're going to touch on it. This is the perfect time with the new websites to add your vendors. So do you only use one lender? Do your buyers only use one lender? Do they only use one home inspector? Title companies, closing attorneys? No, this is a perfect space for you to flex some muscle with the new vendor section of our websites. And I love them, I'm gonna show you mine after. The answers article is in there for you. Do not copy and paste this part about the nerd hack, by the way, friends. Your, your people don't need to see that on Facebook. This is for your, let me, let me just go in. Do not copy this and below this let's just cover all our bases let's just cover all highlight our... it yeah let's 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 pick this that's aggressive right let's not copy this okay <laughs> right so you can click there for the images and grab them or again we're starting to give you all the canva template links the other thing that's in there for you happy fourth of july friends do the post today and schedule it so you do not have to worry about being out on the boat 4th of July or getting all the meat onto the grill and then all of a sudden you panic because you did not put a social media post out. Don't worry. Don't worry. They're out on the boat too. They're not on social media. But if it makes you feel better, schedule it today. So it is not an animated gift that I gave you. Instead, there are eight different images. This is just showing them off for you. You can either click the template or go straight to the folder that has all of the images in there for you with a whole bunch of styles to match your branding, your feelings, or just what you're in the mood for to post. Questions on it takes a team or your happy 4th of July posts. So I want to save some time for the websites. Going once. I'm not watching chat actually, Mike, are there questions in the chat? Or they're just commenting on my unhinged stuff. We just had somebody new who was looking how to access the calendar. Oh, awesome. Yep. And associates get an email with M3 info. And there's also a Facebook group. Mike, if you've got it fast and you want to put the Facebook group in there, that'd be great. If not, I'll copy and paste it out of my notes after. Always check there. Um, but yeah, this goes out every Monday. And this call is usually recorded 
unless I'm so unhinged that we cannot put it on the social medias. Been trying not to do that. All right, let's talk Canva. How many of you are using Canva right now for your real estate stuff? Oh, I see you. I see you. Okay, we get a discount. We get a discount by being KW Associates, even if you pay for it. And they just lifted the restriction. They have a way of checking your full name now in the system, and you don't need a KW email. So if you're using a team email or a commercial email or a luxury email, you now have the ability to get it. What they're going to do is they're going to check it through the system. If you use a nickname that they cannot find, they send it to me. I validate that you are who you are and you get the discount. It also comes with directions on how to get the discount if you already pay for team or professional. So in the bottom of those documents now, you'll see Canva discount for associates. I have a permanent link on my website on how you get it. You just click the link. If it doesn't show this right away, just do a quick refresh and then click start. It's gonna ask you a few questions. This goes to Canva. They send you an email with all the directions and boom, you get the discount. They also have some really cool things in there for training. So once you're in the KW ecosystem, you'll start to get emails direct from the Canva rep who is the KW only Canva rep. And they have some really cool trainings for us and different things. So they'll put out tips and tricks for us to share with you. So you'll get 20% off. Okay. All right, we good with that? I'm not watching chat. All right, let's talk websites. Has anybody on the call not moved over to the new site experience? Because I want to chat it out with you and kind of chat about why we haven't made the switch over or if you even knew there was a new website experience. I had a I had the pleasure of working with a wonderful agent in Connecticut today and she was like, I didn't even know this existed because she was looking for functionality and was about to buy another website. And I'm like, but it's already all here and built and you don't have to do anything. <laughs> So who has not moved over to the new websites? And if you don't want to call yourself out, you don't have to. Because I know Mike has. Elaine doesn't know if she has. That's even better. Okay. I'm going to put a answers article in. This will also be in our M3 Facebook group after. So this link will be in there. There's a couple of considerations to take in when you are doing your website. First of all, if your marketing profile is not up to date or not turned on, you can't market yourself. So let me go back to sharing because I just realized I shut my share off. All right, everybody see command? Cool, sign in. Few things to consider. If you don't have your share my profile publicly flipped on, then KW is no way to market you. You're giving KW permission and you're agreeing to not break local rules. So when you're in command, and now disclaimer, Labs Advisor RTT, we get things ahead of time to break. So if anything looks different, it's coming down the pike or I'm gonna push back and say no. So if it looks a little different from yours, do not panic. I'm gonna come up to my name and I'm going to go to settings. Now you would think it would be one of these, but no, let's do settings because this is where your main profile lives that feeds all of the other ones. So if you start here, it starts to feed your referrals and your other contact information across the board. Once we're in here, we're gonna go to connect settings and marketing profile. Now, when many of you are here, this is off. This means you will not be found on Market Center websites. You will not be found in KW's directory on referrals and your website will not publish. So even if you're on a team or you do pay for additional software or websites, it is in your best interest and in SEO to have another layer at no cost, additional cost to you to just push your information out. Work with them on this. Photos required. Mike, does my photo look great here? Do you think that looks it good? Look great. Yeah, it does look, but does my, does my logo look squishy? <laughs> Thanks, I know. That's my hype man, man. That's my hype man. Um, 
the biggest pushback I get from agents is my, my logo looks like crap. My logo is not uploading right. I promise you it is because when we go to my website and we poke around and we see what's happening, you can see, oh, let me get to a homepage or I'll meet Brooke. You can see my images are coming up perfect. My logos look great. My picture looks great. I don't have to worry about any of those things. That is just a view for you. Just to know you got your image there. Da, 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 da. All my bio rolls over, everything. Back to command. Anything with a red asterisk is required. If you are a licensed associate and you do not put your license in and it knows you're a licensed associate, some smart plans will not deploy. So your license number is super important. Here's my hack if you are multi-state licensed. However your like, thing shows up, MA, and then I either put a comma or a line, and then I say NH, and there you go. It is not a numeric specific field. You can put whatever you want in this to designate your license number. If you're on a team, put your team. And also, under team logo, this is for a team logo. This is not put the Market Center logo in it again twice because then it will duplicate your Market Center logo in everywhere. If you do have your Market Center and logo here, just click remove, or this is for your own personal branded logo if you have one. If you have a slogan, your credentials, remember when you use realtor, it should be uppercase and have an R, your bio, your mobile phone, the office phone, super important. Make sure you are putting the office phone in or checking with your broker because there are some states that require you to have two forms of telephone numbers for the people to get in touch with you. So by putting your cell phone in every field, you could be causing yourself some headaches. Don't do that. Check. Okay. Because your mobile phone is the one. How many times have you ever said, I'm going to call the office phone over this person's direct line? If I've got a direct way to get to someone, I'm always going to take that and not the office phone because I know I'm then going to have to hop through three people to get to the one person I have to go to. You put the brokerage info and then this is where your KW uh, Legacy Partners, Boston Northwest, this is where your DBA logo goes in right on this marketing profile as well. They give you the link to go get your logo if you don't have it. It simply asks you to put your market center name or number in and it gives you all the logos. Again, nerd hack, use only the logos that have a PNG. Why would we use a PNG? Portable network graphic. Anybody know? Not Mike. Sorry, Mike. I saw you come off a of mute. <laughs> does anybody know what a PNG does? I know you got so excited. Oh. Yeah, yes, one. It's the size of the file. Size of the file is one, better quality. It is suitable for all uses, but we're missing the biggest thing. It's transparent. So that way, when your logo is not on your is on your website and you've got that big, ugly white box behind it, it makes me it's my little nerd heart cries for you. Right. It just cries every time you guys post a JPEG, a file gets deleted somewhere. Right. So use the PNG so that it shows up gorgeous across the board and you don't have that ugly white box. JPEGs also lose quality every time they're viewed. So if your website's been up for three years, all of a sudden you're going to be like, me, why is my logo blurry? Why does my logo look pixelated? That's one of the reasons. They're called a lossy file, which means they continue to lose integrity of the data as we go on. That is as much as I'm going to nerd for you today. So use that. Please check with your brokerage on what you have to have, but mine says each office is independently owned and operated. Then you can put any of your other things, click save. Remember this is recorded, so you can go back and watch it. And there you go. Marketing profiles turned on. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That means now I can start to build my website. So now I have my website built. So I can't show you what it looks like to go through the process. A KWRI has created a fantastic how-to how -to article that walks you through 
all the things you need to do to move over. And it's just a few clicks. Some considerations, landing pages are gonna be gone. If you had landing pages before, those don't transfer over and for a very good reason. They're not searchable for SEO on the old sites. So we do have access to a ton of new landing pages. So you want to make sure too if to shut those off. How many of you using the old site and have a ton of landing pages or weird custom pages? No, most people don't. Most of the people Mike and I have sat with in the last few months haven't been using them. And once you do a few clicks, one, two, three clicks to go over, then it will take up to half an hour for your new website to be built. So in that weird half an hour period, you may still see the old legacy sites while KWRI builds this and then it gets published to the internet. Internet changes are not always instant. It all depends on how, how the world is working, okay? This will also be, don't worry, this will be in the links that go out, okay? I'm going to add this to the bottom of this. Upgrade agent sites. You get all the exclamation points today. Ta -da, there you go. That'll be in there as well. So once you're there, some of my favorite things. We talked about this earlier. We have a whole team, right? We are now promoting the whole team. Oh, Amy, hold on. I love this. Amy just asked, where do we find out what our KW website is? What our URL is? A URL is what they type in. So if you have never touched it, it's usually what you did for your email. So back in the day, KW built your website URL based on what you chose for an email. So if I was b.silva at kw.com, my old KW website, if I, unless I chose a new subdomain, was b-silva at .kw.com because you can't have anything else like an at symbol or a period in your um, URLs. So they turned a dot into a, a dash. In order to see it, you would just come down to consumer and on your old consumer site, it does say what it is. And then when you're on the new one, you can see it's the first thing listed at the top. Another super important consideration, there is no more www in the world. We stopped using www dot ages ago. So if you are doing www dot Brooke the nerd dot kw dot com it is going to give you an error because we don't use www but if you go brook the nerd dot kw dot com it goes straight to it i know www is like some 2006 right this is like it's it's dying with aol okay no more www <laughs> I love it when people, I love it when that's the ahas when I teach this class too. <laughs> All right. So back to some of my favorite pieces, the vendors. So the vendor section is in your about me. So I have just a few of the places we use all the time. Again, you are my, um, you are my demographic. Agents are, small business owners are, right? So I'm gonna tailor my website to the people who are on it. You could also add local favorite pizza places, right? I'm a new buyer moving into your town. Where are my favorite pizza places? Chinese takeout, sub shops, steak and cheese, roast beef, because you know, there's a roast beef place on every freaking corner in New England. So like, but which is the best roast beef place? Stuff like that. Um, and then they can just go right to, they can ask you a question and they can go right to the different vendors that we have. And you fill this out. My other favorite thing is the open house functionality. So I'm gonna to pretend to be Manny Pellucci. I know we look a lot alike, but just follow me on this one. So I have an open house 
or I'm covering an open house for someone. Once you are on the new KW websites, whether you're on a team or you're a solo agent, you have the ability to have people sign in seamlessly through an open house website. And it's probably one of my most favorite things. And they go right to command, right to command. So I go to my website, I find the property. You're not gonna remove anything from this website address. You're simply gonna do this, slash, open house, boop. Once I hit enter, it's gonna take just a minute and it's going to create an open house sign-in for me. First name, last name, email address, phone number. It also gives you the permission we need. Take it one step further, right click, QR code, and now I have a QR code for a sign-in sheet. <laughs> Me. I see your faces. They're so adorable. Now you have a sign in sheet ready to go. Virtual sign in. And you know what my favorite thing about QR codes are? Think about this. When we're doing QR codes ourselves, I, uh, Jen and I took our, our kiddos to a jumpy place the other day and she's like, I'll sign us in. And I was like, I'm already done. I used the QR code because all of my information is saved on my phone. So when I had to fill out this online waiver, I tapped my finger in the first field and boom, everything was filled out. I would have had to have gone in and huge effort to give this company incorrect information. Almost everybody has their information stored on their phone for autofill. Almost everyone, even my mom and dad do this. They're like, yeah, I QR all the time. I'm like, okay, okay. So now, you can still have your sign in sheet, but you can print QR codes that go to this. And then all you're doing is you're gonna see the little leads pop in on your command app and you're just gonna verify those. You can then also sort your command database by most recently added or filter by open house. And you're gonna be able to see everybody that was added due to an open house sign in form, making it super easy to follow up after those open houses. Bye, Mike. Everybody wave to Mike. Bye, Mike. I think this is one of my most favorite features, not my top one, because my top one's the blog. But this one is one of those incredible features that just makes working at these open houses so much faster. And it's also a great selling point for your, your on your listing appointments. Right, we, we do everything digital so we can capture and get to the buyers quickly and get to the agents who brought their buyers in quickly so we can communicate about your property. One of my favorites. Questions on this? Because I'm gonna go to blogs and then I'm gonna set y'all free. Doing once. Sold, okay, cool. Again, that was just simply open house at the end. My favorite part are the blogs. If you've been to my class for SEO and blogging, raise your hand. Okay, cool. I know a couple of you have been in there. Erica, I would, I would put everybody I work with in there. I would put every vendor I work with, every favorite place I frequent, people I want to give business to, I would put everybody in. We're working on one, Amy, um, and if not, I'll try to bring it Zoom. It's really difficult Zoom, um, but summers are a little tough with you guys. Trying to get people into the market centers is not always easy in the summer. Okay, so let's talk blog. Brooke, can I just say something real quick with the vendors? Yes, Mama. Because it might be obvious because that's where you're going, but I'm just going to say it out loud. When we go into contract with these buyers, they all ask us, who, who, what inspector, what this or that. So instead of giving them the in information right away, just share the website. So when they open it, they're looking for that inspector, but they're like, oh, wait, she has a painter too. Oh, wait, she has an ice cream place. Oh, wait, she has all this. So now that's how you get it out there. Yep. yep, yep, yep. And it's how great is it? If you don't know what to do for social media or blog, pick somebody on your vendor list blog about them, social media post from the blog, send them back. So let's talk blogs. 
In the beginning of this class, I asked you if everybody in your database was ready to transact, and you all said no. Yet the majority of the marketing that you're pushing out via email only talks to the specific demographics of people who are looking to invest, buy, or sell their properties. That's where your blogs come in. Think business to business. Think of community highlights, dog of the week. You can do anything you want to help. Whatever you would put in an email, it belongs in a blog. Because you're still going to email, and you're still going to email consistently. You're just going to push them monthly to a blog post on your website so you can see who is clicking through and who is actually reading. Because open rates mean nothing. Open rates mean nothing. If you are emailing with people and they are in the government, they're a teacher, they work in hospitals, their emails being read by spam filters. Those spam filters open it and they go mark as unread. That counts as an open. Click through, show you who is interested. It also gives you a reason to call people. Or if you're not sure what to say, hey, what local business should I be featuring next on my blog? Where have you been going lately that you think needs a little extra love? Or do you have an event or a charity or something you would like for me to speak about and get out to my database? Because guess what, friends? They don't need to know if you have five or five million people in your database. All they hear is free marketing. And no one says no to free marketing. And if they do say no, stop sending me people. You say, great. Who do you go to? And when, who do you refer to when you can't handle any more clients? Can you refer me to that person? Right? So we're always going. Yeah, community events, fireworks. That is the best one to blog about. Here's my super nerd hack. I use every community's library website, the public one, because they always have the list of what's happening in the towns. Always. Always. So now my blog is written for you as a, a group. You're my, you're my people. So my stuff has things like keyboard shortcuts and people I think you need to know, or if there's scams going out, right? Like your, your broker's never going to ask you to go buy gift cards, yet we continue to get gift card scams. Um, things I think you need to know about in this world. The other thing it's doing is it's causing people to end up in my world who wouldn't normally search for me, right? Because of how I write things. I'm writing into the blog using ChatGPT, things I want to show up. So if, if you know it's 4th of July and people are going to be looking for the best places to park for the fireworks in Salem, New Hampshire, there's your opener paragraph. Or you put it somewhere in the title so that way when people start searching for things, because remember, not everybody in the database is ready to buy, sell, or invest. Now they're in your world because that awesome hyper-local realtor knows the deets on everything. The other thing this does is it helps your SEO. SEO is triggered, not like triggered, but triggered literally when a new face, a new any page is published. So any website page gets published. Now, Google starts crawling and going, ooh, fresh meat. Let's read this, and we will return this faster because this is more rev relevant than anything else that was published last week. So this has all the parking for 4th of July in Salem, New Hampshire, and it was published today. Well, I'm going to show this over what was published a month ago. So now your website may get seen over even the town website or somebody who has information about these fireworks going on. Oh, then they're on a real estate website and they get curious and oh, then they register and you've got someone in your world you may not have. Again, this also gives you all kinds of things that you can talk about. I could make this into five social media posts. And I say blogging does not have to be a once a day, a once a week thing, once a month. If you can do a quarter, once a quarter, cool. Because here's what's going to happen. Not everybody's going to read the email. Because all you're going to do is use a generic smart plan that says, hey, go check out what's new in the news on my website for upcoming events, charities, and more, right? So then they click 
But if I haven't been clicking for three months and now, now I click, guess what? This all looks brand new to me. This is all brand new to me. They don't know that you only just put this out or that maybe this, these two were from six months ago. They don't know. The other thing you can do is you can go in and edit and add something and publish it. And then it gets looked at on the web again by Google, then forcing it up in the search results. Questions on that. This is only available on the new website experience, by the way. You know, one of my favorites. This is my favorite. Fun fact, I was a blogger before coming to KW. I made a lot of money in my blogging years. A lot of money. I miss it. But that little silly button that somebody created called Jump to Recipe ended my blogging world. How many of you actually read the stories? It's a very few. That has to go <laughs> with a recipe. No, so whoever created that Jump to Recipe, you're on my no Christmas card list. That's okay. That's okay. Questions on this? So if you want to see more about this, seoclass.brookthenerd.com. Let me put this in here for you. And I will also make sure it's on my documents. One of the things you can do is check out this chat GPT workbook. Just because I can write a blog, friends, doesn't mean I write the blog. I'm not a professional blogger. I'm a, I'm a tech trainer. So that's where I have to spend the 20% of my day. So I am utilizing and leveraging other AI tools to help me get the info out. I'm also using real sources and sourcing them. So that way I have a link in there that I can give to people. So if you want more information on that, go check out my chat GPT workbook. Who knows what a Mad Lib is? Does anybody know what a Mad Lib is? I made it Mad Lib style. So all you have to do is plug and play what you wanted to say, and then you put it into the chat GPT and it gives you a beautiful response. <laughs> It's like the most favorite thing I've created for you guys. <laughs> I love it so much. All right. So we got a lot to do this week. I did this on purpose for you. Let's just make the switch to the new sites. Pull the Band-Aid off. Your other landing pages are collecting dust. They're doing nothing. The, just go to the new website. Play with the blogs. Come up with a list. I would love to have a nice little bloggy blog mastermind of topics to talk about and questions to ask ChatGPT, but I need more of you doing these things and interested in it. I'm also going to tell you that it will be shocking when you start calling your database. And instead of talking about, yes, we have to talk about real estate if any, no, the region's off, but it's still recorded. We are going to talk real estate, but you can't talk real estate every conversation. I will not pick up the phone if I knew that Sandra was only going to ask me a question about giving her something every time she calls. I don't have a referral for you. I work in real estate, Sandra, right? So ask me about something that I, that's going on with me. Ask me about events. Do I have a product or a service that needs promotion? Do I have an event, right? All these things and more, when you're calling and asking how you can help someone else, they're going to remember and when they see a cool event or they have a friend that says, hey, do you know how I could get my thing promoted, my widget, my brand new salon, whatever it is, get it out into the wind. Then they're going to call you and then you are bringing so much more value outside of the amazing value you bring with your real estate knowledge. So we're going to pull the bandaid off. We're, gonna, we're just going to make the switch. We're going to make sure our marketing profile has a headshot that looks like us. It's got to look like you. This is not a surprise and delight campaign. Do not scare people when they roll in. When you meet them in person, your, your headshot from 1986, your yearbook photo, no more. Have a nice photo taken. Be casual. Be outside. It has to look like you. Stop being catfish, okay? Update your marketing profile, make the switch, and let's get really good at blogging because you're going to be SEO masters. Can we do that? And share the love. Oh, other nerd hack if you didn't pick up on it. Tag the people you love working with in those TCs. If you use your TC, thank them in the post on their business page. If you work with multiple lenders a lot, tag them all in. Let them fight. 
Same thing with inspectors. In southern New Hampshire, I prefer these. These are my go-to people. In northern New Hampshire, these are my go-to people. They won't fight, I promise you. And they may even give you a share on it. All right, friends. I hope, what's a TC? <laughs> it's the person that helps you. Uh, no, that's your PC. Your PC with your 411 and your GPS and your Y4C 2Ts. <laughs> it's all the acronyms. Have a restful fourth, please, please. Have some downtime. Put the phone down. Schedule your posts ahead of time so you can be present during the holiday. Everything is closed on the fourth. Nobody's going to the closing table that day, okay? And just know if there's any heated people, 